Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly, and this channel is all about teaching you how to create print-on-demand designs using Canva. So if that is something that you're interested in, please stick around. So in today's video, we're gonna go over how to create this design right here. It is a very quick, easy, text-based design. It can be scaled out very quickly to literally hundreds of designs. And best of all, it was made using a Canva pre-made template that then we were able to edit. So if you want to learn how that you can make this design very quick, very easy, very fast, and you know, scale it out, um, go ahead and stick around. All right, so here we are on the Canva home page, and I am gonna show you a couple different ways that you can go about um, finding what it is that I want to show you. I am gonna use one of Canva's pre-made t-shirt templates in today's design and kind of show you how you can edit it. And so there's a few ways that we can do this. Typically, I'll come up here to create a design. I will come down to custom size and I will just go ahead and start with a blank background, which is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. And you can still do that. You can also go down here. There's all these different tabs that you can look at, print products, more. So I don't know if you've ever scrolled through here, kind of played with it. There's all sorts of templates that you can go through. You can also go ahead and do a search for, you know, like t-shirt. And so you can put t-shirt templates and it's gonna come up with a bunch of t-shirt templates and you can select any one of them here to work with. And so that is one way that you can go about sort of finding different templates that you can work with. And there's a whole ton of them. You can see you can scroll for a long time. You can also do specific searches on which ones that you want to go with. And so that's one way to do it. Um, if you did wanna go back to home, and go ahead, hit custom size here in the corner. We can start with a blank background, 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. And so I could go ahead, click that and just pull up my blank backgrounds. And then from here, if you go up to the left-hand corner where it says design, and here it says templates, you can do the same search this way too. So I could still go ahead and just put t-shirt here and it will bring up the same t-shirt templates here. So you can do that either way that you want, it doesn't matter. So what we're looking at is some of these pre-made templates. Now, if you know what you want, you can also kind of search like tropical t-shirts or you know space t-shirts and it'll come up with, with different ones because there's a ton that you can look through. You know, keep in mind that if you're gonna use some of these, these templates, they give you good ideas and they kind of give you good layouts. You do have to make sure that you make a lot of changes. You don't want your designs to look too much, you know, like the template necessarily. Um, and you also just can't use it as is. So, you know, just like any of the other graphics, you can't use these as is. You definitely have to make at least some changes. But so there's a lot of different t-shirt templates that you can look at. One that I liked, that I wanted to use just because it would make it a lot quick, a lot more quick and easy to do this is right here. There's one that says designer nutrition facts and you could find it by the way, if you just searched nutrition facts in here too. But this one I liked because it's easy. It's just got a bunch of lines, right? Which you could do yourself, but this just makes it so much faster having those lines in there for you already. So I did like that. So let's say we start with that and it just pulls it right up and it puts it on my blank page and it is now 4,500 by 5,400 pixels, just the way I wanted it. I don't want that little smiley face there. We are gonna make a lot of changes to this. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and change all the text to white because I do want it to be white text on a black backdrop. So I can pick any one of these boxes and they're all editable. And let's go ahead, text color, and go ahead and select white. Now, if you do that, there'll be a box at the bottom that will say change all and it'll say black to white. That is one way I can change all of the text at once from black to white. And so that was pretty easy. So now all the text is white. I can do the same thing now with the line. So I can click on any one of these lines, come up to the top left hand corner. It will say line color. I can go ahead and select white. And then again, I can hit change all. And so it changes sort of the lines separate from the text. It would change, you know, things like that. But now it is all nice white text. I'm gonna get rid of the cream background. We're gonna go ahead and still design for black. So I'm gonna go up to the top where it says backgrounds color and I'm just gonna be selecting black. And so right now we've got a really good template going on. So this is what I like. This is 
perfect template. And so from here, we can just go ahead and change all of these, but keep this overall layout. And so that's really good. So you've seen a lot of Nutrition Facts shirts probably, and you can do this with just about anything. So we can do this with any career you can think of. Um, you can do this with, I mean, you name it, nutrition facts. So this one says designer, but we could go with teacher and we could be specific. We could go with kindergarten teacher, for example. We could go with physical therapist. We could go with, you know, um, mom. You could go with dad. You could go with anything you want. So I'm going to go simple. I'm going to go ahead and do the kindergarten teacher just because, you know, that's always easy to work with. So let's just go ahead and put teacher there. And because I want to be a little bit more specific, I'm going to go ahead and pull up one more text box and I'm going to put kindergarten. And so I'm going to bring a kindergarten teacher up here and make it nice and big so it goes across there so you can see what I'm going to do here. So now we can go ahead and I'll, I'll, I'll play with the fonts in a little bit, but we can change some of these too. So serving size, one cool designer. We can go, you know, maybe one uh, one dedicated or passionate or enthusiastic or, you know, one awesome educator. And I can just pull that line out to make it fit. So now serving size is one awesome educator, okay? You can keep some of these and change the ones you want. So maybe instead of authenticity, we go with compassion because they're compassionate. And maybe instead of passion, we go with patience because they have to have a lot of patience. So now I've got creative, creativity, compassion, patience. I still like the caffeine, hardworking, sleep. I do kind of like those, so I might go ahead and keep those. But again, you can change any of these you want. You can also change the percentages here too. So, you know, caffeine, hardworking, sleep, I like that creativity was the biggest. Maybe creativity shouldn't be the biggest. Maybe hmm, think of something else that would go good. Patience might have been the bigger one. Maybe we should have put patience up here so you can kind of see how we can play with this. Let's go with, yeah, I think I'm going to put this one as patience and I'm going to change the patience to determination. There we go. So I like that a little bit better. Um, and so we can, you know, go with this. Now, again, I can change any of the font I want. So if I want to change the overall font, I can do that. If I want to, you know, make some of it bold, I can do that. If I want to change the colors, you can do that. But this gave me a really fast overall layout. And so that's one of the things that I like about the kind of pre-made templates is that if you find a layout that you want, it's really convenient to already have that. You could do this from scratch, but it would take you a while to put the lines in and to put everything where you want it. And so having it already done for you is definitely convenient. So now let's go ahead, change some of the texts. So I like the teacher and what we're looking at is something that's a little bit wider. So let's go ahead and look for some wide text. So they were going with that one, which was still pretty big. We had it on bold. Let's see if I can find anything else that I like that's maybe a little bit wide, but maybe doesn't have the curves to it. Depends how I want to do this. So here's one that says teacher this way. And I can pull that out. I can shrink it down so that I can make kindergarten fit a little bit better. Something like that. And again, kindergarten. I would have to make a little bit more, kind of more narrow probably. So let's say I went with that one. And again, play with some of these. So now I've got kindergarten teacher nutrition facts. And so these are different fonts, but you can see how you could play with that. And so that looks kind of cool there. Um, and I could play with, you know, different colors too, if I wanted to, or play with some of the boldness if I wanted to. This one isn't bold, but I could make it bold. And so you can see how I could do that right there. Yeah, I'm not a fan. And so you can play with some of these. Um, I like that this is bold and that these are not, but on a shirt, those are going to look kind of small. So it may be that you want to make all of these bold, um, just so that they're easier to see. 
So some of these might just be tough to see if we don't make everything a little bit more bold. So I think that I'm just gonna go ahead and make those all bold so that I can see them easily. You do need them to be red, you know, easily on a thumbnail. So whenever we're designing for t-shirts, you know, people are gonna see the thumbnail first and it's gonna be small. So if you can't easily read your design, then they're just gonna skip right over it. So you do want to make sure that whatever you have, whenever you're making a design, that it is, you know, easy enough to read. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger there so that that's easier to read. And so that looks pretty good like that. And so there you go. Pretty simple, pretty easy. If you wanted to move it or do any kind of resize to it, you can always group everything together too. So for example, if I click in the bottom right hand corner and I was to like left click and then drag, you know, hold that down and drag over everything, it's gonna group it all together. Now I can move it all as a group. I could resize it as a group. So if I wanted it to really be big and fill up the whole thing, you know, I can kind of make it a little bit bigger like that if I wanted it more to one side or if I wanted it centered. And so that's sort of how you can play with the overall, you know, position of everything without having to move every single thing individually. So there you go. That is just a really quick, easy way that you can use a pre-made template to then kind of create your own design. And this is one that could be scaled out a thousand times. I mean, literally you just take it plug in whatever profession you want, change your words, change your percentages, and it's good to go. And again, if you really wanted to make it special, you could put something like a clipping mask over it, or you could use different colors. So tons of ways you could go with this, but it can be made so quick and scaled out so easy. So, you know, take advantage of some of the pre-made, um, templates, t-shirt templates, especially if you're looking for ideas, you may scroll through there and find an idea that comes to head, comes to your mind that you're like, oh, I'm going to do that. So just so that you're aware, I want you to have all of your options, all of your tools in your toolbox that you have to use. And so that you don't feel stifled in making designs that you can really, you know, take full advantage of all the different ways that you can design. All right. <laughs> if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to it as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing well with your sales and I hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.